Oh, I am. I still remember the first day we met like it was yesterday. I was incredibly excited and nervous to finally meet you. You have stuck by me through the best and worst and loved all that I am. You helped me to be the finest version of me that I can. God's ways were not what I could have imagined. And instead of lofty ideals, he gave me you, the reality of his promises over my life. Standing here and witnessing a miracle and the beginnings of the fulfillment of the promise of the Lord. Our journey honestly has been a miracle in so many ways as we have had to trust the Lord for his redemption, provision and faithfulness to bring us to this altar. As we walk forward together from this day, I promise to love you with the best and worst of me. <laughs> I knew that I was with the right woman when I discovered that you were a natural for the arts, cutesy stuff, enjoyed watching animated films more than me, <laughs> and had a very discerning palate for whiskey and food especially my homemade pasta and signature brisket, barbecue brisket. Jackpot! <laughs> Today is the day where we begin our lives as one. I cannot imagine my life without you. I cannot wait to journey through this crazy life with you by my side. Real marriage, real commitment is built on Monday. It's built on Tuesday. It's built on Wednesday. It's built on Thursday. But what matters to each other, and you know it deep in your hearts, is when you wake up on Monday and you know that she's there, you know that he's there, and you wake up on Tuesday. That's where real marriage is built. Hoam, I will love you unconditionally and always will remain loyal to, to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I vow to love and cherish you forever. I choose you as my partner, my best friend, my lover, accepting the successes, the failures, the joys, the pains, our, our strengths and weaknesses. I choose to be your home E and choose you <laughs> as my home. I was made for Jesus. I was made to walk in the cool of day. With just some stuff that now that all three bridesmaids have been married, <laughs> some for longer than others, um, just a couple things that I, I learned from marriage. Never stop <laughs> flirting with each other, you know? Shouldn't be like taken for granted that, you know, that your wife looks hot, you know? Or taken for granted that your husband's being really nice, you know, and show it. You know, show like, yeah, you look good, <laughs> you know? Or like, wow, thank you, and like, Lightness of flesh on earth, you bore the cross that we deserved. You got me down on one knee. Spirit's breathing now, I'm living. When I met you, I wasn't so sure. But now that I've seen how you guys have grown together for five years, dating through the through the thick and the thin, through the through the rough and the tough, through the good and the bad. Um, I realize, yeah, you're the good one. You're the guy. Um, you can, you can, you can be her shield. You, know, you could be her confidant and her best friend. So I leave that to you, brother. I was made for Jesus. I was made to walk in the cool of the day.
since we've lived together for eight years and shared a bunk bed for most of them. I think I've earned the right to say that you are absolutely one of the most consistently diligent and disciplined people that I know. I believe that you're going to realize any dream that you, Jay, and the Lord set yourselves to in your lifetime. You may kiss the bride. So my prayer for the two of you is that you would continue to find freedom and surrender and joy in the act of laying down your lives for one another. And so um, I celebrate that in you, Hoam. And Jay, I just am so happy and I'm encouraging you that now you get to set the bar for sacrifice and love in your house. So please nurture your marriage, do things together. Don't forget the reasons why you two came together. Final ingredient, I think the Beatles said it best, all you need is love. 